Welcome back to Ports Out of the Pilots. We're joined now by a couple of runners from the West Region Champion and Fourth Ring Pilots, Senior Jeff Thies, Junior Nick Hogger. Guys, thanks a ton for joining us tonight. Coming off a huge weekend, West Regional Champions. These, you were second. Hogger, a few spots back and forth. Program's first West Region title since 1993. Just talk about what that experience is like. Jeff, we'll start with you. Uh, it was amazing. It was uh, it was really a great atmosphere as a, as a team. We had a bunch of guys who drove up on Friday uh, to cheer us on. Coming through the race, seeing guys running around, they had a big P flag and cheering us on. And then just during the race, seeing Manu up and in the front the whole time as he kind of had a gap on us and then running next to Nick and Caleb and Logan and Noah. It was just, it was fantastic. And Nick? Yeah, couldn't say it better. Just coming around that first big turn that we had after the start and seeing just, you know, 15 guys there from the team that drove up on that day to come watch us. It was just, I had the biggest smile on my face. Fueled by those guys the whole race. Just, it was such a fun atmosphere. My family came over to watch first race they've, they've seen this season. So it was just all around. Great experience, great motivation going into this week. Very nice. And Jeff, before the meet, you had a post on Instagram that said, two years ago on the same course, regionals was a disappointment. You failed to qualify for nationals for the first time in 10 years. Tomorrow is time for redemption and another step towards accomplishing your goals as a team. Would you say you got your redemption? I would say so, yeah. Two years ago, it was kind of a letdown being that first squad to not qualify. You know, I feel like you're letting down all the guys before you, all the alums that have put in all that work and made that step. So being the two guys coming back from that year, it was kind of uh, in the back of our minds that this was a different day and we had a different mindset going into the race. And Nick, you've made some huge improvements during your time here on the bluff at regionals in 2015. You're 44th, fourth this year. You were also voted most inspirational at last year's Wally's. Talk about your development as a pilot and what's inspired you to get better. Yeah, so I'd say what inspired me to get better it just dates back to the 2014 team. Um, just watching from home, just as a freshman, I'd only been here for a couple months, uh, just new to the team, new to this team atmosphere, the team goes and takes third in the nation, and that was just such an incredible moment, and I knew right then that once those guys left, I wanted to fill those shoes and continue the steps that they've made, and um, I think this, you know, ever since then, and this season especially, we're just continuing what they started for us, and the only way you know to really continue that is to you know get a better finish at nationals, and so that's been the goal and motivation every single day. And Jeff, you have some history running with a couple of USA teams. How has that experience helped in your success and development as an athlete, and did that influence uh, you coming to UP in the first place? Yeah, I mean it's been uh, a lot of fun. They're kind of once in a lifetime opportunities getting to travel the world and and wear Team USA gear is really a lot of fun. Uh, it's helped kind of propel me each year into kind of believing in myself a little bit on where I've come and where I've been. Uh, but it hasn't, it wasn't really the deciding factor on coming to UP. Uh, that had, comes down to the team culture and Coach Connor and everyone around uh, our group that kind of sets this environment of success. So, And let's talk about that team culture. It seems like it's a huge factor in this year's team. Something that has been talked about is the importance of the whole team all 30 guys on the team play a role, and this year the uh, motto is, it's not about five, it's not about seven, it's all of us. You guys have some bracelets on as well. Just talk about the team culture this year. Jeff? Team culture has been better than I have been a part of since I've been here at UP. It's been fantastic. Two weeks ago on a Friday, we were running a workout uh, on a, a track together, and there was guys who had extended their season. They were out there just trying to help us in our workout make it uh, as easy for us to hit the times we were trying to hit. And they were running shorter distances, but they were there to kind of help us and propel us into regionals and nationals. So that was really great to see. That's awesome. And Nick, the bracelets? Yeah, uh, our assistant coach, Jack, got these uh, made for us the night before regionals. And he said, wear them, look at them during the race, and just remember, you know, that this is a team effort. And it really did, you know. I think it was about the halfway mark. I just looked down at it real quick and just reminded myself of how much the team has helped support these seven guys to get there and guys running around the course cheering us on at the same time. And it really, I just kept reminding myself of that just to run for these guys and run for everyone on the team. And it's, you know, it's not about the top guys. It's not about, you know, just the seven or the five that are scoring. It's, it's every guy from the top down to the bottom. And it's, it's been the most cohesive, fun team I've ever been a part of. So I've really enjoyed it this year. And let's look beyond graduation 
Any post-graduation plans, Nick? I know uh, you're interested in physical therapy. You know, just being in sports my whole life, and especially on the cross-country side, I've run into my fair share of injuries over the years, and I've just had an endless support group um, with my physical therapists that I've seen and trainers here and whatnot, and uh, it's really inspired me to continue in that, you know, and stay and really inspire others and help you know, other runners hopefully in the future to uh, continue their seasons and stay injury free. And it, that's just been my goal. Jeff, have you uh, looked beyond graduation? Uh, I'd love to try and follow in the footsteps of Scott Fobble, Reed Buchanan, Woody Kincaid, and try to sign a professional contract to continue my running career. Very nice. Yeah. Bring it back to currently, huge weekend obviously, nationals a few days away, Saturday morning, Louisville, Kentucky. You guys are ranked fourth in the nation. It's gonna be a loaded field. But you guys are obviously going after that podium finish. What can we expect from the pilots this weekend, Jeff? Uh, I think we're going to get out, get out strong. We have it every meet and really work together, being in that group and kind of pushing every guy, each K, to kind of maximize our performances and to run hard through that second half. And we'll let the their end result kind of take care of itself. And Nick? Yeah, just focus on the execution of the meet and. Not think too much about it, just uh, going like it's another race, like it's Wisconsin Conference Regionals, like it's just another race, we're running, and uh, just running for each other still, so that's the plan. Sounds good. Thank you yeah. guys very much yeah. for joining us. Good Thank luck you. this weekend. Thank, Thank you. you. Thanks for having us.